time to continue our United States playthrough. And uh, as of course, as the original United States, we have no intention of getting involved in the war if we can help it. Um, although we, we, we do want to help the good guys win the war. So we're ramping up our industry efforts to try and sell stuff to, to Britain and um, the Free French and whatever other allies are left to uh, dispute the tyranny in Europe. But as for the actual fighting, nope, we don't want any American boots on the ground. However, we have like a fledgling US army which needs to be built up a little bit because who knows what trouble is coming in our direction. And we've got this chap called George Patton here. Yeah, he can have an upgrade, a guerrilla fighter. Entrenchment speed? doesn't sound like his style does it we do have to of course win the espionage war as we we might want to know if other countries have plans against us we've also researched the f4 lightning which is a scout plane i think so we might build some of those uh, let's have a quick look um that that's our choice we'll go for the seducer edmund sheridan what a mustache that gentleman has just because he's got Seducer, I, I would have picked Margaret Davis at the top of the list, but she doesn't have a trait, sadly. I don't think we need a demolition expert. Control trade mission effects, diplomatic pressure effects. That, I thought that was some assassination thing. He's actually well-groomed. Actually, that might be more useful. Yeah, let's go with uh, Josephine Baker. I think that might be more useful at the moment. So how are we going to use her? Where do we want intelligence planting? Well, it might be good to know what's going on with Germany. So let's let's do let's go and set up an intel network around Berlin and see what uh, see what we discover from over there. Uh, we were actually building the intelligence agency, weren't we? So we may as well try. It's still doing that one. Okay, so let's form the department and let's actually get that going. We've got a lot of work to do over there, and we have some research to pick up on. We've got the scout planes. We can go instantly for the better scout planes. Isn't an awful idea. There's a lot of better aircraft we could have by 1940. So let's tick them off one by one and see if we can build them uh, and also sell them to, uh, to people in Europe. We'll make some money on the market. Why not? Do we want the ranged focus ones for the naval bombers, the Lockheed ones? Let's tell me what the details are on these. Small and carrier planes, medium planes and transport planes. I don't think that's the one we want for that. Oh, naval aircraft, obviously, because we're doing naval bombers, so that uh, we will have specialised that a bit more in that direction, I think. So, what else shall we have? We shall go for Radio Interception Group, perhaps. Government Cipher School, maybe we'll go for this, so that we're harder to uh, unlock. What about localised training centres? Interrogation, oh, diplomatic training. Let's take that one, because if we are doing mission diplomatic missions anywhere um, as i imagine the americans were at this time then that'll be a good thing to to do and we need to have a look in here and see where we're going so we must have got some support of some new senators because otherwise these wouldn't these wouldn't light up uh, let's have a look naval dockyards i mean having a big navy is a good thing we don't need more manpower that's fine we could build the pentagon this isn't a bad idea um, that would actually prepare us more for anything that does kick off. Oh, hang on, what's this? Wartime industry? So this grants civilian to military factory conversion costs as reduced, and we get General Motors, which grants industrial research speed. Oh, let's, let's take that, because we would like to... I don't think we have... Oh, we have. We've got General Electric. This gives us electronics research speed. But I think we want General Motors, the standard oil. Well, oh, no, cancel. What, does, what, does, what do they give us? Uh, industrial research speed and synthetic research. That's all electronics. That's industrial and factory output. Okay, we definitely want General Motors then. So that should mean that until we're getting there, we, we kind of want to go down as much of this as possible. And we can. We can do December 41. The, these are the ones I, I don't feel like we need to rush down those. <laughs> <clears throat> but better radar would be would be quite good. So let's move the time on. The German Reich declared war on Yugoslavia. Okay, we are now starting to be a little bit concerned about the situation in Europe. I mean, we were concerned already, but this is now looking bad. Germany is now drawing more and more of Europe into a massive war, and I don't think they've got any just reason to do it. Siamese Empire joined... Gr who? 
Oh, Siam would be... I haven't heard them called Siamese Empire in this. I've not noticed if they have been. So they've joined Japan's faction. Interesting. Poor old China, not looking so good. Do we have any diplomatic overtones that we can do? We can send an attaché, non-aggression pact. Uh, we can do nothing else, sadly. There is a decision to send the Flying Tigers there, but I don't know if... No, it was, it was before the war kicked off. Uh, but as we started with 1939 game start, I don't know if that's already happened. So, uh, let us carry on with our small lobbying efforts. Radio propaganda that would just get war support. I don't feel like we need to do it. Ban communism, yes. We damn well should do. I could go all in. Oh, we're going to need uh, chromium deposits. I need excavation four for that. Where are we on that one? Um, actually, not too far off. But I, we, we, okay. We need to, we need to get that and that. But we're getting industrial speeds anyway. And the reason I need chromium is because it's for use in the tanks. I think I'm building or the tank destroyers. Japan demands French Indochina. Which is this bit, right? Which they've already got, so... Okay. Japan is looking quite rampant across Asia. This is... This is a worrying development that Japan is doing quite so well. It's also worrying that the Axis are doing quite so well, not only in Europe, but in North Africa. Hang on, we've got Italy, right? We've got Italy by Mussolini. We've got Italian East Africa... Really? Leader of Italian East Africa. It is fascist. It is... It must be a puppet, right? It has to be. Yeah, it's a puppet of Italy. I've never seen that happen before. How many hours of this game have I played? I have never seen this being created as an Italian puppet like this. I don't think I have. It makes sense that it could be, but... Uh, poor old Yugoslavia has capitulated. They just got steamrolled by Germany. And we have the Aero Cobra, a fighter that uh, was never... I don't think it was truly liked. It didn't just quite hit the mark with um, what it was supposed to do. So, I did say I was going to try and get the next electronics research done. So, let's see if we can get that. And we have new fighters, please. Oh, uh, we need to do the carrier fighters as well. Right, remind me to do that. So, we're switching over from the P-40 Warhawk to the P-39 Aero Cobra, which looks really nice, but, um, hmm, okay, we shall see. Should I also set a factory off to create those spy planes? Uh, can we, do we, we're gonna have to choose one. It's this one, I think, the F-4 Scout plane, range focused. Although I think it classes as a medium, so we, we could have done that. I'll leave one factory just in there, we're not going to need a lot of spy planes, so that's fine. Interesting. So, in construction, we're still working our way through some military factories to provide goods to sell to the markets uh, on the Allies' side. Uh, don't forget, our, our neighbour, Canada, is, is part of the Allies and is currently at war, so we need to kind of support them as well. The infrastructure project... The, the, that project project has gone really well. I mean, look at the infrastructure. We've, we've done it. We've developed the United States. I'm thinking I might also develop where... Uh, let's go for Hawaii, because Hawaii is now a state. Oh, and Alaska is now a state. The fact that the thing is with Alaska, it's hidden off the top of the map, so it's so easy to miss. Also, Puerto Rico, I think. Didn't we extend statehood to that? Now, here's my... Um, here's my lack of intelligence here. I don't know where Puerto Rico is. Well, I guess I do now. So, let's, let's put it on the list, for no reason other than, um, I mean, it's a state of America. It deserves everything else that the rest do, or it's a state in this game anyway. We've got diplomatic training done. Psychological warfare. Propaganda mission. What would be the sort of thing? I think it would be kind of um, more limited things, like this. <clears throat> Remember, I'm trying to, to play as, we're not going to war, but we would want to know stuff about other countries so where we, we need to set up spies in the armed forces and stuff because we need to know what's going on and let's see no enemy cipher has been decrypted 
So let's 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 pick one. Senate committee investigates shipbuilding in Maryland. Prodded by the senior senator from Maryland, the Senate Commerce Committee has begun hearings into the state of the local shipbuilding industry. According to experts, a significant percentage of U.S. trade depends on overseas trade, and the country is desperately lacking in shipbuilding capacity. Maryland has been identified as a region in which a major investment should be made, and several committee members have expressed an expectation that the administration of Franklin Roosevelt will set funds aside for this. So, a knock decision. Invest in shipbuilding industry in Maryland. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Um, it, it gets the economy going. It gives us the shipbuilding. So, we can... We can do this straight away, right? Special. Where's this going to pop up? Because I don't see it. Develop. Okay, it's not there. Combat domestic isolationism. That's just war support. I don't see this one. It said it unlocks decision shipbuilding in Maryland. I don't see it. Maybe it needs to tick over the day before it appears. We'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, yeah, we were gonna we were gonna decipher someone, weren't we? Who do we think is the greatest threat to the U.S. at the moment? Mexico, possibly Japan. Japan is is running rampant over here. Let's let's go and see if we can. I mean, we'd try and decipher all of them, but we 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 do actually have borders with Japan because of the Pacific Islands, so that makes sense. We've researched the war austerity trains. Excellent. Can we also try and grab while there's a bonus to do it? Uh, it's, it's, this is a long way ahead. We have six research slots. Let's go for it. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, let's get that going. And we have outdated equipment. Yes, because we have cheaper trains now. So we can get more and more trains into stock. We could probably sell some... Actually, we can sell some trains. Let's put them on the market. So sell equipment... Hang on, just, just a second. Um, I need to go to the... I want to go to the options just to make sure I've got this right. Yeah, auto accept, that's fine. So what are we selling? It looks like we're selling... Individ Is this individual aircraft? No, we're sending... Right, it's one order. But they're, they're buying 23, they're buying 53. Nice, so we're selling aircraft around the world. Which is kind of cool. Sell stuff. What can we put on? No one's buying the basic light tanks. I've tried. No one's interested. Uh, the trains. Do you think... Let's, let's add those on. I mean, why not? It's, it's fantastic American industry. What, can we, what else can we ship around the world? Let's put 100 trucks on. General Motors. No, not, not all that. <laughs> you fool. Hang on. Let's do 100 trucks. Add it in. Is that all it gets us? 500? That seems quite lowly compared to everything else. <clears throat> I kind of like the arms dealer thing. It's kind of fun for playing a country like this. And it's just, I think it's a nice touch to the game. Some of the other things that came with that expansion, I could live without. But, uh, but that's, that's good. Oh, nice. We have some upgraded infantry weapons. Of course, we are in 1940. So I am going to go and shift over to factory output. Oh, sorry, that's construction, isn't it? And then we want um, excavation as well. Ooh, what's this one? Infantry equipment. We can, when there's six, we can start putting policies in, but not yet. Do we want soft attack and breakthrough or piercing and hard attack for infantry equipment? We want soft attack and breakthrough. That would be my choice. And let's switch that over to the new stuff. Right, so let's have a look. We are in Honolulu here. How about we put some aircraft in this? Have we got anything in the way of naval bombers? Let's put some of these guys in. And what about some fighters? Yeah, let's put some of those in. And do we have any long range stuff? There's heavy fighters. Um, tactical bombers, I think, would be quite good. B-23 Dragon. I've not actually heard of that one. So they will they will power up to 100, so that's not a problem. Can we... I'm not sure. No, we can't uh, alter the size. Not from there, anyway. 
I wasn't sure if the size of the wing was a DLC thing or, or core mechanics update at some point. Representative criticizes the president. Oh dear. Disgraceful. Disgraceful. That's not good. Has our small lobbying effort kind of gone wrong? Should we go for a medium one? Let's go for a medium one and see if we do this. Amend the budget. Uh, that gets rid of support afterwards, which we don't want to do. The pain farm subsidy is a good one. Where's the Maryland naval thing in here? It's not in there, is it? What's the arsenal of democracy? Consumer goods factories, war support, factory output. It sounds all good. Guns for the anti-fascist war. Ooh, support China. Support the anti-fascist war. China will get three off-map uh, military factories. Oh yeah, let's do this. Let's actually do this. And guns for them. Has complete, China has completed the focus mission to the US. Effects when selected. Send a thousand infantry equipment to China. Old ones go first. I'll tick that one too. Because uh, I'd like to see China hang around. I don't want to see it capitulate. We've got armoured cars which we can build to sell. But um, there, there are all sorts of other uses to them as well. Where are we at then? So we're still a little bit behind on infantry equipment. Which is okay. We've got the good old trusty Garand. We don't need anything else. Industry. I do want to go. Oh, I was doing factory output. So it was construction I want this time. Let's get that going. And we now have some military factories coming up. Which I'm going to fill in with my first armoured car. Are we making light tanks? We, we The M1 combat car. It would be a very basic light tank. I think we can make something a bit better than that. The interwar armoured car. <laughs> this, this is pretty basic stuff. But it's fine. We don't need a template for it. Do we have US cavalry? We do. We have quite a big US cavalry as well. We have quite a bit of that. Okay, let's, uh, let's remove this. And I'll remove that. And I don't really want that many. Hang on. Just cancel this. This is a very expensive way of doing this. <laughs> I'm going to do it this way. Let's start off with a completely blank division. Create empty. And we're going to have... Um, cavalry. Where's cavalry? It's under mobile, is it? Cavalry. And... Armoured car. I'll put a few more cavalry in. And they add some armor. And this is going to be our police force. So let's give it... Not that I hope we need it. But we'll just call it police. Colonial police. Well, now that sounds terrible, doesn't it? We'll just call it the police. I'll put that on. And that's going to be for... Suppression is quite good. And we'll add some military police into that as well. When the time comes. We could put light tanks in, but uh, there's no need to. I don't know if we need to do this. There are some occupied... German protectorate of what? Oh, German protectorate. Okay, this this might be this. Okay, let's let's change this over to police force. Uh, we don't have enough, do we? So we do have garrisons, and we're missing 328 armored cars. It'll sort itself out. We're not at war. We don't really need to care about garrisons. There's not like a huge resistance movement or anything against the United States. It'll be fine. Right, let's start working up our intelligence. And do we need new planes? I mean, we always do need new planes. We do need to work on things. What would we like to build next? We have trucks going. We've got trucks and trains, so that's good. Scout planes are coming. The armored cars, three a week. That's going to generate up quite nicely. That's all good. Um... I don't feel like there's anything desperate to do unless there's something I've forgotten about. We have tactical bombers, right? We are making them. Yes, we are. We could do with some better ones. We could we could do with up upping the um, production of combat aircraft, certainly. The carrier stuff never needs to really be increased above one factory. I think that should always be fine. But uh, I would say tactical bombers, strategic bombers, heavy fighters and fighters, and close air support and naval bombers. They could all do with being increased. Now let's have a look at the resources, because this is time to address this. So I do need some chromium. 
Who am I going to get it from? Turkey, we do have dealings with. Soviet Union, South Africa. I guess the United Kingdom is pretty safe. Let's go United Kingdom. Uh, just one. And rubber. We absolutely do need some rubber. I'm going to take two of these. Because we're going to produce uh, more aircraft. United Kingdom could do it. The British Malaya. We... Hmm. Will those Japanese submarines be a problem? They better not. Let's go British Malaya. Okay. So the economy's kicking up. The industry's kicking up. Everything's going quite nicely. What can we do here? We don't want to change these. We can't change... I could change this. Interesting. I could change this. I mean, we shouldn't because <clears throat> we have no intention of uh, wrecking the economy to go to war, obviously. We want to do General Motors, don't we? What do I need to build? Wow, we've got loads of stuff built. This is, this is fantastic. I would say synthetic refineries for rubber, but I don't think we need it. Hungarian bomber competition. Hungarian Air Force is currently holding trials for a new light bomber. According to our air attaché, our newest model is poised to win. A formal request from the Hungarian government is expected shortly. Representatives of the manufacturer are strongly in favour of the sale, but there are national security concerns about selling our most modern equipment to a foreign country. Should we permit the sale? So we will get 20 air experience, and they will create licensed production of close air support to Hungary. They are at war with the United Kingdom, so we can't risk any leaks. I, I don't think it would look good to be selling warplanes to Britain's enemies and trying to sell them planes themselves as well. I think that would be a little bit cheeky. Yeah, Winston Churchill might object to that. The Manhattan Project. Now, there's a thought. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's escort fighters. This will give us a bonus for heavy fighter models. That's quite good. That is quite good. How about the two Ocean Navy Act? This would this would be good. We'll get a load of naval stuff and dockyards, building slots. Um, for for trade, obviously, and for defending our trade with Asia. So I think we're going to go with that one. Now I haven't decided what to build yet. Let's have a look. We could maybe do... Oh, do we need to do fuel silos? I mean, <clears throat> the amount of oil we've got, is that even a thing? Is that even necessary? Probably not, I would say. Civilian factories, radar, AA guns. Do we need AA guns? Does Germany have anything that could possibly bomb us? They did have Zeppelins that could go across there. It's not as such a stupid idea as you think. Okay, Puerto Rico could do some radar. And I think we'll boost the radars on our coast, our Pacific coast. Yeah, this is what we'll do. A bit in the Pacific here. There's a few key areas. Maybe I should worry about putting some defenders on these islands. Just just a garrison troops, keep the locals in line. Alright, so we have something there. That should keep people building for a bit. See, we're not warmongering. Not yet. But we do need to see what's going on. That That is kind of a very important thing. We are building this, are we not? Yep, we're, we're developing departments. That's good. And we have some troops created. We've got the 4th Ivy Division. Our 1st Infantry Division has been deployed. Nice. Let's form this into an Army Corps. Put it under Ike. And let's... Um, green troops, because they are exactly that. The 1st Allied Army. Okay, let's have an Infantry Commander, please. Mark Clark. Reckless Mark Clark. Was he reckless? I thought he was kind of cautious. Agent killed? It appears that Josephine Baker, one of our agents deployed in the German Reich, has made the ultimate sacrifice and died in the line of duty. 
Reports from German sources are naturally sparse, but it appears that Josephine Baker has been tracked by German counterintelligence. It seems likely that she was about to be captured and either chose death to avoid giving out vital information under interrogation or was killed by German agents while resisting arrest. Wow, okay. I did not see that coming. Okay, let's put Mark Clark. Actually, Bradley should probably be in. Assassination of Trotsky. Oh, that, that's, that's no great loss to... Not, no great loss to democracy there. So, Omar Bradley. He's going to be a fortress... I'll give him Fortress Buster. I think he would be senior, wouldn't he? Army Department. We would like... Where's the Overseas Department? Operations. Do we have that? Which, which is the one that allows you to recruit? Is it localized? It's localized training centers. I feel like we can play around with the spies a bit more in this and do some stuff. Anyway, back to the army. Bradley's got his first few divisions. Or first division, I should probably say. Uh, yep, he can get training. What are we lacking now? Just a little bit of rubber and chromium. That's okay. We can live with that. Do we have decisions? I wish I'd read more about that um, situation about the Maryland dockyards. Pay, well, pay the farm subsidies and go for a small lobbying effect. We want this as high as possible. And keep it as high as possible. And this doesn't seem to cost us anything to do this, so it's, it's, it's awesome. Oh, by the way, now that we're here, give me the uh, General Motors, please. Yep, put General Motors in there. Factory output is exactly what we want. Amphibious tanks, we do need to build some of those because they are going to be great for our, our Marine Corps. Uh, let's see, so our, we're in a good state with the, with the armour, so that's actually quite good. Support companies, we're probably well behind with. Infantry equipment, uh, that's doing its thing for industry, so that's okay. We could pick 41... Yeah, let's go assembly line production. Get our factories kicking some more stuff out. And let's have a cheeky little look at the Navy. So, my first strike fleet. These guys positioned in Hawaii. That's good. Everyone's fully trained up. That's, that's excellent, in fact. What have we got over here? These are a load of destroyers. And I think we probably need to put those guys on to repair. These are... These are 1936 destroyers. Okay, these these are useful ones. We've got some here, right? These are 1940s destroyers. These are far more useful ones. What have we got? Okay, so we are producing a lot of good destroyers. That's excellent. This is a massive stack of early ones, which I don't think are going to be that great. And as we've got the other ones replacing them... Let's bring these guys back, put them in a reserve fleet, and then decide what we're going to do with them later. And we've got a mine lane destroyer, which sounds awesome. Let me go down to this. I'm going to go for mine lane down here. We might have subs as well. I don't know. But for now, can we find someone who's... So just knock that down and keep it ticking over. Sorry, wrong button. Can you remember, folks? I can't remember. This guy, I think. Did he have the mine laying thing? He did. He can have mine laying. And he may as well take concealment as well. He could have been good for other stuff, actually, but... Blockade runner. Well, anyway. He's probably a bit good to be a mine laying fleet. But that's, that's fine. We've got the radar. That's excellent. And then we are... Uh, we, we're kind of good for that side. This bit's doing okay. It's time to get aircraft. What we do need to do is get the carrier fighters done. So let's research that one. This is going to be the amazing looking F4F Wildcat. I love the US carrier planes. Um, from Certainly from the early war. I think they look beautiful aircraft. Uh, you can be on the naval aircraft designer. Sweet. Okay, I'll tell you what else we want to do. We want to build ports up on both sides. Oh, hang on. I'm getting... I'm waiting for the two-nation Navy Act to be done. 
to Ocean Navy Act, rather. To Nation Navy. That's a, that's, a, that's a North and South thing again, isn't it? By the way, folks, if you haven't seen, I am playing Ultimate General Civil War on, on this channel. Go and check it out. I think I've got one video up at the time of recording this and soon to be another. Uh, we, are, we are playing the battles of the American Civil War through there. It's an awesome strategy game. If you like Total War games, you'll like the battles in that. It's really cool. And also, uh, I'm naming some of the brigades after you guys viewing. So uh, if you'd like to be in Mark's Army of the North, as we try and uh, stitch the Union back together, then uh, make sure to go and check that out. Right, how are we doing? Let's speed back up again. How's things in Europe? It's 1941. 